Blackwall is the name given to the firewall found in Cyberpunk 2077, a system used to protect users and netrunners from the old web, corrupted by demons or malware by Rash Bartmoss. These demons in Blackwall are more than just software, they are powerful AIs running unchecked and unreachable by most humans. Any netrunner who tries to reach them is never heard from again, as corruption takes hold of them. In Phantom Liberty, the Blackwall plays a large role in the story and is the thing infecting Songbird, and after her story concludes, V2 can create something that is made from the Blackwall, but it will come with a price. Being that close to the Blackwall will corrupt you with an infection. So that's just a little background on what Blackwall is in Phantom Liberty, but how do you go about creating these items? You can make the corrupted weapon Erebus, or you can install yourself with corrupted cyberware called Militech Canto MK6. Well, well, another chatty construct. Guess you'll have to get in line. To get the Black Wall Quick Hack and Erebus weapon, you need to acquire their respective blueprints during this somewhat damaged mission. But to get here, you need to make the right choices and pick a certain ending, okay. and if you don't, then this will be missable. First, during the Firestarter mission, there's an important decision you need to make at the end. You can choose to help Songbird escape, or you can help Reed capture Songbird. If you help Songbird, or so me, you won't be able to do this, you must help Reed in order to get this ending, where the corrupted blueprints are found. Next, it's unclear if this is needed, but you might as well do it just in case. During the Black Steel in the Hour of Chaos mission, there are a few things you need to do. At the start of the mission, when you're talking to Mr. Hans, you can pay him 15,000 credits, which is optional, and then you can go to the Edgenet shop in Kabuki Market, talk with Yoko, and agree to her optional side quest as well. The reason it's unclear is I did these things and Yoko is the one who will help you create the corrupted items, so we might as well just help her, but I'm not 100% certain that it is needed. Next, during the somewhat damaged quest, you'll enter the Sinosure facility where Songbird is hiding. Make your way through the facility and this is where you will find what we need. However, it's not going to be easy as there is a creature, a large machine hunting you, which is definitely Cyberpunk's most terrifying moment. If Cerberus catches you, then there's no escape and you're killed instantly. The blueprints can be found in the lower area where you need to hack the Alpha, Bravo, Sierra and Victor terminals and once you reach the mess hall you'll spot the door leading to the maintenance room. Since it's locked you'll have to activate the power grid in the storage room which is nearby or you can have a high enough technical ability to open the door. Either way once the door is open the Erebus blueprint is found inside of the room. Proceed to the next area where you will find the experimental prototyping room. You can either hack it via a passcode or instantly open it if you have 15 technical ability, and inside the room you'll find the blueprint for the Militech Canto MK6 cyberware. Continue with the mission until you've shut down the core. This will lead to a sequence where V learns about Songbird's past. The Cerberus robot will show up and it will get disabled. And then you have to make sure you pick up the behavioral system component from its wreckage. 
After that, you'll need to make a decision regarding Songbird's fate. This will lead to the concluding arc of the story of Phantom Liberty, and then you will return to your apartment. Once you awake, you can sleep or wait again, and then you should eventually receive a text message from a mysterious individual, and this will lead to a new mission called the Corrosion. Return to the EdgeNet shop in Kabuki Market, tell Yoko about the component that you got from the robot, she'll then decrypt it, turning it into the Cerberus decoded behavioral system component, and then you can use this component to craft either the Erebus Iconic Weapon or the Militech Kanto MK6 Cyberware. You can only choose one as you only have one component, although you could technically duplicate the item and then you could craft both at the same time. And of course you'll still need the tier 5 crafting components and quick hack components to be able to craft it. So what are the differences between the two things? Militech Kanto MK6 Cyberware is a new operating system that you can equip with four quick hack slots. Unlocks the black wall gateway quick hack and by default this costs 12 RAM. It can also spread to five enemies within 20 meters, causing lethal damage to cyberware and noodle systems. Nearby mechs, drones and turrets will also get deactivated. The ability also consumes RAM whenever it spreads. The Erebus is a powerful submachine gun. It has 100% plus headshot damage and plus 25% armor penetration, so it makes for a very decent gun. Also, rounds fired from this weapon are infused with a dark energy from beyond the black wall, which is very effective against enemies, especially with low health. It also hacks enemies when you shoot them, which prevents them from shooting back. So two powerful items you can create, either a weapon or the cyberware, but whatever one you choose, the black wall will speak to you, trying to corrupt you like it did Songbird. Weapons will also leave behind corruption as well, as the infection starts to take hold of the... Guys, that is how to get the Black Wall secret weapon or cyberware, or both if you decide to duplicate, in Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty. Like and subscribe for more guides, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Trying to get me-